Hello and welcome to Tech Guinness. My name is Chandra and I'm a technology explorer. In this video, we will talk about admin REST APIs in Keyclock, where to get the information for the same. And also we will try to execute few REST APIs where we are interacting with Keyclock via the uh, using the postman. Okay. So let's get started. And uh, there is a secret bonus tip as well. So please be with me for this video. Okay. Okay. So guys, I'm logged into my key clock. You can see the realm settings. So that's the default page. Okay. Now how to get the rest APIs. So if we go to the documentation of key clock, right? So this is the key clock dot org documentation. Go down, go down. You can see API documentation. Okay. So here is the administration REST API. So if I click on this, so this is the page that will open. So key clock admin REST API. And one catch here is the URI scheme, which is incorrect. And in my previous videos, I have talked about this. So what they are saying base path is slash auth. And this is for version 18. Okay. Which is uh, based on Quarkus from version 17. Key clock version 17, uh, like key clock X was the preview version, right? Where they were saying that key clock X is the uh, distribution that is powered by Quarkus. So now by default from 17, uh, they have started with Quarkus. And with Quarkus, this slash auth is already removed. So that is not required. Okay. So if you try to do this, it will again give you 404. Okay. But again, the other catch is that if I go to any of the resources, for example, I am going to users. So what they are saying is the resources slash realm slash users. Okay. But the catch is it, it should be like, for example, I have add user. It should be slash auth is not required slash admin. So it should be slash admin slash realms then master okay so master is my realm so i can change the realm name as well so if i talk about this should be uh, realm name so for example resource is my users so it would be slash master slash users or uh, within that like if i want to get the users i can say get slash realm slash users or other apis if we see it's the count if I want to get the user count. Okay. So uh, we will play with this. Okay. We'll try to see just remove these few APIs. Okay. So I will just copy this I'll create a new request. Okay. So realm name I'm giving master. Okay. And I want to count the users. Okay. So get realm users slash count. Okay. And now I need to pass the token as well. Okay. So this key clock token uh, API you need to use. Okay. And here I'm using uh, the password grant type where I'm just giving the client ID. I'm using admin CLI, the username password. Uh, basically I'm using my master realm user ID password. So if you send use this, so you will get the token. Okay. So I'll copy this token. Let's see if uh, number of users are written or not. Okay. So it is saying 200. Okay. And here we get the number of users. So let's see whether this information is accurate or not. Let me go here, go to users. I can see view all users. So the count is correct. Okay. So this is how we interact with uh, rest APIs. Now uh, the next API, let, let's try the, this one. Uh, so get users, which it returns a stream of users. Okay. And we can have some query parameters as well. So let's just see what it returns. Okay, so you can see it has written the information now to further know about this. 
so you can see these are my resources I, I can do the attack detection i can authentication management apis are there and then clients api so if i go and check this one creates a new client so rather than i will see what are the clients i have so i will replace it from here only okay you can create further resources so i will say okay now it is saying 401 unauthorized because uh, the token might be expired let's generate a new token and try to call this again yeah so uh, you know like we got the information okay so where the client id is account right and the whole information we are getting account console so you can see right what are my client scopes or then other parameters okay so client id then name root url then base url then surrogate auth required enabled these are the metadata of particular clients in key clock okay so i will not go into deep of this because this uh, video is all about how to interact with rest apis okay so these are my redirect apis so you can see it has written the data about all the clients okay and here we can have query as well right for example i can client id by i can say client id equal to uh, broker so i can see broker here i thought of using this again the token is expired so let's get the token one more time and let's paste it so you can see we can use the query params as well to get the information about the particular client okay so similarly you can try all these apis so why why rest apis right we can do all the things from admin console but to automate the things okay so uh, there might be a chances that we want to automate something uh, or we want to know the information about for example i was talking about this clients api so i want to do something on clients client data in my backend code so in that scenario these and console will want to be of uh, much help okay so and you can watch my previous videos as well uh, with covered on users groups where i have shown you how this rest api can help you to automate the things now you want to create or users you can create using the rest apis you want to create the groups you can do it via the apis okay so this is how we uh, make use of uh, admin apis so now again i i am reiterating uri scheme you need to take care you need to use slash admin slash realms and then the realm name whatever realm you are working with the next thing is uh, the bonus tip okay so this i use myself okay so for example i want to see right what is the api uh, for particular users thing okay now what we can do we can go to developer console okay so for example i can go to network now i will click on view all users okay so you can see right this api is called and in the demo right i have shown you slash admin slash realms master this is the real name and this is users and it is a get api this is the same thing which i have done in my postman the bonus tip is like if you are not able to get particular api or you are not able to understand right for example in many places this uh, information the documentation is not up to the mark i have faced these scenarios okay so for example user representation if i am going right then a string array what what kind of array it accepts you are not aware right so then required action again it's a array but you are not aware so how do you know that what kind of uh, values it accepts okay so for that i make use of uh, such apis 
okay and then i can get to know right what are the apis for example i can click on add user so following apis are called but that's none of your uh, business i will go and add chandra dot sharma 01 okay and then i can say chandra dot sharma 01 at gmail.com this is not my id so don't try to send mail on this chandra sharma okay email verified on then i am saying required action right configure otp update profile verify email update user local update password okay now as i was talking about right required actions here we are not able to understand what are the values which i need to pass I can click on save as soon as I click on save the users API will be called now you can see this is the users API which was called it is a post API again slash admin slash realms the realm name and users and here you can see the payload this is the payload now you can see required action so that means I need to send the and this is the enum values okay so you need to send it like this only for example configure totp it will it's in caps but update user local you need to send it like this okay so the only motive of showing this bonus tip is if you are stuck in somewhere and you are not able to understand what is the parameter right in instead of banging your head just go and do that action in admin console and you will be able to know okay this will be helpful in those kind of scenarios i hope you like the video and you will be able to communicate with the admin apis in key clock and if you face any issues challenges anyways i am available in the youtube comment section you can reach out to me from there thanks a lot and i will see you in the next video Bye bye